What if, right, you're living with a childhood friend of yours who just so happens to be of the opposite sex. But when she's making plans, you just so happen to be watching some adult stuff. And yeah, that's that's really all the setup for this. Let's talk 462000 called Childhood Friends. It's from the artist Yama Konbu. Like I said earlier, it's a childhood friend sauce, so let's get right into it. The dojin starts out with the main girl making plans, or rather refusing them, to go to work. But she overhears some weird noises coming from the other room. The person that she's on the phone with though starts making fun of her for being around Matsushita, the main guy. But as she's trying to tell her off, there's some more of those noises and she snaps. She snaps so bad that she barges into his room yelling at him to at least close his window. He's caught off guard and starts yelling at her to get out, but she tells him that she could hear it all the way from her room. He's confused on what she heard, but notices and she starts teasing him for being into that kind of stuff. She's saying stuff like what's the big deal and it's his fault for blasting on full volume but she also realizes that he's got a bit of action especially taking note of the size he tells her to get out if she's done but she offers to take care of it for him he's of course thrown off by this as she tells him why she's saying that but he's just yelling at her to get out he then goes on to ask when she turned into that much of a person and that she used to be a lot cuter when she was younger which is just not the best phrase to say she's still taunting him about it but he says that unlike her he's not gonna do it with just anyone and she She's still taunting him, but he says he's not a virgin because of something in freshman year, but she didn't know this about him. But she asks if that means he's single, which yeah he is, so she says it's no big deal and gives him the same offer and this time he takes it. But in the middle of this, there's backstory. Going back to their middle school days, Shizuku, the main girl, is talking to some girl about how things are going with Matsushita, and if he asked her out already, which of course he didn't, so the girl says that she should do it, because the girl just can't can't stand watching them and they're graduating next week so might as well though they're going to the same school and she doesn't want to risk their relationship this girl then says that if she keeps up that talk some other girl will snatch him up before she knows it the flashback then cuts to the two walking and talking how everyone's going their separate ways but they're stuck together Matsushita tells her to tell him if she manages to get a boyfriend since he's like her big brother but she gives this kind of look before smiling saying that he's obviously the little brother it cuts back to the them doing it but also confessing their feelings for each other they finish up and he asks if she wants to date which is kind of dumb to ask right after they do it but it might be a little late for that with their history but she smiles and says of course it isn't and the dungeon ends overall i rate this a 9 out of 10 the story was pretty good and the artwork was amazing however it is incredibly horny which i i don't know why i'm saying this with the history of this channel but it's good nonetheless i recommend you check it out for yourselves as always that's all i got I'll see you in the next one. Attack on Titan, Tokyo Ghoul. These hentai babes make me drool. Hashane Biku is great. She makes me masturbate. Fairy tale.